Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to transfer Shiba Inu from Qcoin to Metamask. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you will need to do is to go over to Qcoin and log in. Once you're logged in, you need to go over to the top right and then go over to assets. Here you'll need to click on main account. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page you'll see all the coins you're holding. As you can see, right now I don't have any coins available on Qcoin, but what you will need to do is to search for the Shiba Inu coin. And once you have found it, you can go over to the operations section and then click on the withdrawal button. Now you'll be sent over to the withdrawal page of Qcoin. And as you can see, the first thing you have to fill in here is the wallet address. The wallet address is the address you want to transfer to. So to find this address, you need to go over to MetaMask. Now if you're using Google, you can go over to the top right and then click on the extensions and then click MetaMask. Now what I like to do is to press on those three buttons and then click on expand view because by doing so you'll get MetaMask in full screen. Once you're on this page, you have to make sure you have the Ethereum mainnet selected. And once you have the Ethereum mainnet selected, you'll now have to add the Shiba Inu token to MetaMask. So there's two ways you can do this. The first way is by clicking on add token and then clicking on custom token. Now the first thing you have to fill in is the token contract address. So to find this address you can go over to CoinMarketCap and then you need to go over to the search bar and search for Shiba Inu. And over on this page you'll need to go over to contracts and then click on the copy button to the right of the address. As you can see right now my address has been copied. And then you can go back over to MetaMask and paste the token contract address in. And once you paste the address in, you will also see that the token symbol and token decimal have been filled in automatically. So now all that's left to do is to click on next and then click on add tokens. Now when I go back over to my account, you will see that I have added the Shiba Inu coin to my wallet. And the second way you can add Shiba Inu to your wallet is to go over to CoinMarketCap and simply click on the MetaMask icon. You will see that it says add to MetaMask. So just click on this, then click on add token and it will be successfully added to your wallet. Now that you've added the Shiba Inu coin to your wallet, you need to go over to account. It doesn't matter what the name of your account is by the way, and then you want to click on it. You'll now see that your wallet address has been copied. So once you have copied your wallet address, you can go back over to Qcoin and paste your wallet address in. You'll now have to select the network you want to use. In this case, that's ERC20. So once you've filled in the wallet address and the network, all that's left to do is to fill in the amount of Shiba Inu coins that you would like to transfer. Like I said, I don't have any Shiba available on Qcoin, but what you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to transfer. You can fill in this amount manually, or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. Now, once you have filled in the wallet address, the network, and the amount of coins you would like to transfer, all that's left to do is to click on confirm. If you have any two-factor authentication enabled on Qcoin, you will have to go through the security verification process, but that's quite easy because all you need to do is to fill in your two-factor authentication code. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.